YouTubers, and thank you for tuning in to the Dice of Arts Hall review. Once again, my train set is pretty much running on classic track master track. I still can't find the um, Tony slash track master track adapter at the moment, which has got that nozzle on the front here. But what I will do is I'll grab the webcam here. I'm actually going to be reviewing my toys, and I'm going to just set right on the bed here. And of course, yes, I'm going to be taking a look at just two. Penguin Club World theme items. And yes, obviously, as I can tell, I've only got a bit of a cold. Um, but yes, at least I can, you know, pretty much pull off two reviews in a much better way, hopefully, this time, and be a good boy. But, anyways, let's just start off with this. Uh, it's supposed to be a Valentine's Day card. Uh, I've actually done uh, one of those Valentine's Day cards before, though, eh? Uh, but yes, this one here is in the shape of a heart. It says, Will you be my penguin time? Bit of a very weird pun. Of course, as always, as usual, you can see that's a pink penguin with a strawberry beanie. Maybe a reference to some strawberry character that I really know of. Obviously, she's got like a mobile phone. And there's a black penguin. Uh, it's got very weird, kooky looking eyes, which I can't see very clearly. Up there, this is, I can see that the eyes are a bit. Well, a little bit distortedly eerie, if you ask me. A bit, how would you say, it's like a Botox stare. That's how I could describe it, eh? And there you go, that's what the card looks like inside. There you go, small ones of X's means more space. And there you go, Happy Valentine's Day. Very simplistic card. Uh, it's got all the hallmarks of what you would find on Penguin Club World theme items, especially the font. There you go, happy Valentine's Day. Ooh, it's a very interesting flip flop logo. It's a Valentine's Day flip flop logo, but I would have preferred more if it had eyelashes. Wouldn't that be great? But, um, <laughs> yeah, quite simplistic actually. But, um, it's not the worst of the worst. Uh, I did try my best to pretty much add the white. But, um, yeah, looks alright though with the eyes and the, you know, you know, the underside of the penguin. That's what I'm talking about, eh? Those white bits. Those white parts, of course. Yeah, but anyways, it's just a nice, you know, simplistic card. Nothing much bad about it, but let's go ahead and take a look at the photo itself. This one here is like Flavor Origami. I think I've done this toy review before, though, where I did have a look at some penguins with jetpacks, but this one here is called the Racing and Refuel Crew. Penguins figure 12 pack slash set. There you go, you might obviously, um, you can tell from the picture there, it's, it costs about £13.95. There you go, it's not too bad, £13.95, that's about 5 pence away from £14. And um, there you go, on the top left corner is some weird winking penguin with a flag of some sort, I can't really tell which one is which. And there's the back of the packaging, which looks like that. There you go. Trying to sound a bit more intense, of course, because, well, I need to pretty much speak a little bit more loudly, because, well, if I don't speak that much loudly, well, I don't think I'll be able to hear you guys as I'm making this video. And here you go, part of the Penguin Cup World Toy Range. As always, as per usual, and, oh, I've never seen this many penguins before, eh? You get, like, duplicates, so uh, maybe they're, like, the crew, like, you know, the pick crew of a racing team. Obviously, and it looks nice actually. You got like a black penguin. There you go. Probably the same one. Uh, handling one looks like to be a flag. I believe it's like a checkered flag. And there you go. There's two rocket penguins or jetpack penguins. And we've also got a couple of jerry cans, which are these red things there as well, just to fuel the um, fuel up the jetpacks, of course. Right, let me just go ahead and unpack this. And we'll see what's inside. Oh yes. And it does look quite nice. Okay, so with me totally having that much, you know, not not in the well in the much of dialogue of course. Um of course it looks quite nice. You get two of those jet packs, which looks fairly nice, obviously you can see well they're, they're actually a bit different though. One's like got like a watercolor sort of detailing on the bottom of black, um, but this one here, 
that's also watercolour, but look at the words being coloured in. It's actually fully black. Whereas this one here is not. Look at it's all crumbly on the bottom here. That's weird. But what I will do is fit in uh, the penguins with the jetpacks. Let's get this red one on. And I've got a train right behind me. <laughs> Just give me a bit of momentum and... Oh. Okay. Okay, the train is actually... um Yeah, I have to say that office chair was blocking the rails and that really ne that nearly, um, how would you say it? Made the video off the rails, obviously. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to be very careful with my throat though, because obviously in the way I'm talking on videos and whatnot. Um, but yes, fairly nice. And we'll do the other penguin, which is of course this blue one here, of course. I know there's two different shades of blue, you've got like a dark blue, and, and there's also like a lightish blue penguin. Can't go wrong with different, you know, penguin colours, of course. Why am I thinking of that blue penguin out of Super Mario 64? That's what I'm thinking of, that blue penguin. And there you go. It actually fits on perfectly, I suppose, eh? I suppose the um, Penguin Club World merchandise is actually getting really big, which, in a sense, may sound quite a bit freakish, but at the same time, quite astonishing. And, um, it does sound astonishing once you have, like, you know, a large collection of penguin related toys and um, it's not too bad actually what I actually can have and it's you know it's not really that that bad actually and if I should show you some more features onto the set and if I just you know just move these um jetpack penguins away and uh, we've also got these two jerry cans that's what they look like and I've got like that nozzle on the on the front, something to make the jetpack go a bit faster, or you know, <coughs> something like that. It looks pretty nice. It looks like something out of you know. Whenever I think of jerry cans, it's like something out of you know World War Two. Hopefully, you wouldn't <laughs> refer these to World War Three items. I hope. Pretty German looking actually. And uh, we've also got there you go. That's the um, checkered flag. Which, in a sense, is a um, oh, it's a nice tricolored sort of sort of um, flag. There, you get like red, yellow, and green. But you also have white. Why does it remind me of Christmas whenever I look at this? And but what I will do is I'll go ahead and grab the um, black penguin and see how this looks. Like. I don't, I'm not sure if you can fit in. Yeah, I think penguins have got those little pockets, so I bet they can pretty much, you know use equipment in a very nice way, I hope. Oh, doesn't seem to work. Fail. But what I will do with this black penguin is I'll try and make sure that this black... Um, what do you say? Actually, not really black, but more like a whitish, yellowish, reddish, greenish checker flag is I'll... <laughs> it just keeps on falling like that. That's not how, you know, toys tend to be like this. I only see it when toys go awry, you know, when the fact that they just can't, in, you know, fit in certain components and they just fall apart. I, I'd hate to see a toy that will just, you know, completely and utterly fail, hey? If it's a good toy, then I'll keep it. But if it's like one of these toys that are just, you know, just plays trouble with me, I just don't know what to do. <coughs> and you know, the the checkered flag, penguin, it's quite a bit hard to, um, you know, <laughs> think of it. But let me try and, try and set up in a very nice way. And it's pretty hard. I don't think I could... What? I mean, give me a break, man. I, I mean, I've spent a couple of days, only about one to two days producing this. Ah, there you go. And let's just... Yeah, it's about to fail me, I'm afraid. Um, yep, yep, sorry about that one, guys. That's that's not how toys are, are like, though, eh? But you can just pretty much play it your way, eh? I mean, what you can do is pretty much hold it like that if you're going to be doing ready, set, go, or three, two, one, go. Right, that's a bit of a, you know, competition race thing. Like that. You can just simply, like, you know, wave the flag like that. But the flag doesn't actually move, which is quite a bit strange. <coughs> but what I would take, what I should have a look at next are those other penguins here. You got like, you know, two of those um, lovely penguins. 
look like that. And I believe they carry a jerry can each. So for each team, and they get one jerry can each. And for the other team, it's like a pit crew whenever I think of it. It's like whenever I think of racing and you have like your own pit crew, which looks like that. And you've also got two of those peach looking penguins. Or are they pink ones? <laughs> I don't know. I can't really tell which is which. They've also got a jerry can, so they have to rely on two of these teams. Um, without getting my camera a bit wonky, <laughs> you know what I'm shooting. Of course, yes. Um, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I'm trying to rely on these two penguins for them to race, as you know, as always, as per usual. Well, <coughs> I have to say this toy view has gone a little bit, you know. I know I've still got a bit of a cold and a fog in my throat, but um. It always happens like that every bloody winter, doesn't it, eh? <laughs> and I just, you know, can't even deal with it. But hopefully when winter ends, I'm sure we'll be pretty much fulfilled for something real sooner and real later, but also better. But man, I have to say, making toy views of penguins, it's not too bad. It's just that there are some parts that just make it quite iffy, like that checkered flag. I don't think that's like... You know, one of these moments which I think it's quite, you know, good in this sense, but it's just pretty, you know, it's not that, it's like, oh no, hang on, Trackmaster Luke has been derailed. Well, of course, yes, I'm not going to show it boot camera because it will take the video quite long. <laughs> and, um, of course, there's a, why? Uh, the flags, it should start to hold. It shouldn't fall apart like this. Oh, there you go. I think it's those pockets inside. You can actually... Oh, that's better. That's so uh, much better. You can actually make the penguin wave its flag after putting it onto its pocket. I mean, how is this not a joke? I mean... I mean... <laughs> okay, okay, I think all of the harshness is pretty much over now. And you might be thinking, Ah, but Ivan, you're being a bit harsh here, but... That's just me assuming on how a toy is pretty much designed. Uh, but there you go. That's all I can basically review. And uh, yes, yeah. just another simple toy view that I've just made. And I bet you what, all toy views will be quite simple once we head towards like next week, tomorrow and Monday. And actually on Valentine's Day, I've actually got a few more Valentine's Day cards coming up there. So who would ever thought Valentine's Day would be this small? Well, it's actually getting bigger and better, I suppose, eh? Uh, but I don't know how much uh, the flap, the flapping birds, um, you know. Of course, there's other toys there uh, in the toy room. <coughs> you know, the flip-up origami toys, like you know the um, um, hang on. Yes, I know there's flapping birds going about there, eh? But of course, there's Valentine's Day stuff. Um, whenever I think of it. It's not that very common making it because, well, it seems a little bit too, you know, you know, I don't often kind of basically make Valentine's Day pretty big though in my opinion because, you know, for me, I'm just pretty much thinking, oh, you know, hey, it's quite hard though, but I'm, there you go, that's what I'm going to be doing. There you go, I've just repacked the whole product now, are you happy now? And yes, um, going back to that Valentine's Day topic that I was thinking of, apart from making some cards, I might also start to think of something else. You know, whenever I think of Valentine's Day, um, I, I have done Flapping Bird toys before, my channel started here, and I've also done like Flip Up Origami toys that relating to Valentine's Day as well, but, <coughs> you know, we'll see how it goes. But anyways, I hope you really enjoyed in this very strange video. Please give this video a like, subscribe for more flip flap videos in the future. And I'm really sorry if I only spoke quite a bit softly though because of the fact that my conditions at the moment are a bit mediocre, you know, in the way I'm actually feeling at the moment. I've got that cold and I've got that throat that I need to continue with. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and bye for now.